Um, my experience of racism in football was, you know, I've had a, a few experiences as a professional, but my first experience was as a young kid in a, in a tournament playing for my Sunday league team. Um, I must have been about six, seven years old. Um, and I remember a woman on the sideline shouting, catch that N-word, um, break that N-word's leg, slow him down. Um, and obviously at the time I, I knew obviously she had said said something racist, but I kind of just went into my shower, went really quiet. And that's when people realised what was up. And, you know, I didn't know precisely what was going on at, at that moment in time. But, you know, my, my parents were there and, and you know, it, it ended up kicking off. My, my dad heard it and, you know, obviously the woman tried to deny it, but there was a lot of people there that had, had witnessed it. And this was going back 20, 20 something years now. And, you know, in, in the professional game, you know, I've I've had many incidents of, of racial abuse and whether that be on social media, whether that's been from fans directly within the within the stands or um you know, it's it's been it's been crazy and, and a, a lot doesn't get done. You know, there's there's been times where I've never reported it and people have seen it and no one acts on it and then when you do speak out and you say something you're you're made out as if you're you're the person in the wrong people want to kind of twist the situation and and put it back on you and you know it is it is tough to take and it it can feel like you're in a in a in a lonely place and no one really does have your back and um, you know the authorities don't do enough to to combat it and and when you do go and speak to your authorities they they don't actually actually even do anything so you know it's it's a tough one and i think in life in general there's i think there's racial discrimination all over in all walks of life and you know people are know that and people are now starting to pick up pick up on it a lot more and you know there's still a lot a long way to go and a lot to be done but you know we have to keep moving forward as a society and you know we can't negatively let it affect us and you know if we can all come together as one because at the end of the day we're all human beings we all bleed the same and you know we have to be a united nation and uh, on a on a whole spectrum so you know, if we can we can all come together and keep making change, then you know there's no reason why we we can't turn this around because it it shouldn't be happening in this in this day and age. I can't really say whether it's it's worse or not, and you know, as as football is my life, and you know, I've as as a professional footballer, you kind of keep yourself to yourself. You you stay in and and be professional, and but you know, when I when I speak to other people and other people in all different occupations, you know, they they seem to have the same kind of issues and. You know, like we said, it, it it seems to be an issue that isn't going away anytime soon, and it just seems to be getting worse because we're allowing these people to have these these platforms, and we're allowing these people to to get away with it. And you know, until we we start pulling them on and acting on on these issues, then you know, it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. And you know, like I said, we we have to stick together. We we all have to do our part in in making a, a better society. Um, you know, my advice to the younger players that maybe going through certain situations and, and have been through it is, you know, that to, is to is to make sure you speak up and, and, and don't bottle up your emotions. Don't let it don't let it eat away at you. You know, you've, you've there's probably a lot of people out there that are going through them certain situations themselves and, and have been through it like myself. And, you know, I think you should always reach out to your support network or even reach out to to the different organizations that, that can help you because, you know, it's like we said, it's a it's a lonely place when it's happening to you and you know it's when you're being targeted and you're being directed at you know there's you feel like the world is against you and you know we're, we're allowing these people now with the government the social media they're allowing these people to to speak up on it and, and say what they want without any without any repercussions and you know you i believe that you have to stand up to it you have to face it and you know you have to stand up to to the fight that they're trying to bring towards you and and you and you can't crumble so you know it's definitely a it's definitely a mental struggle and you have to be mentally strong and you know if if you're not a person of ethnic minority then you also need to speak up on it if you see it and act on it because your voice is just as powerful as the next man and as and as bad as it sounds when it's coming from a person of a person of that isn't of an ethnic minority, your your voice always seems to be a lot more powerful and a lot more people 
seem to listen to that. So if if you see someone going through that, I, I suggest you educate yourself, you learn and, and put yourself in their shoes and, and, you know, you directly won't feel what they're going through and, you know, you're not directly involved in, in these situations. But if you can speak up and act out against it and, and like we said, keep a united front, then, you know, it's it will definitely be a, a powerful movement. Best coping mechanism, um, like I said, it would just be to, to speak to people around you and and not let the the frustration and, and the emotion of what's happened um get the better of you. Um you know you as as hard as it is, you know, you have to kind of try and stay as mentally strong and you know, like we said in, in this day and age it seems to be everywhere and you know there's kind of no no run away from it with especially with the social media and their whole freedom of speech, they all believe that they can get away with it and they can hide behind all these profiles and you know, it it definitely does make it a lot harder to to maybe catch the culprits. But like we said, the the social media have to do do a lot more to to combat that. And you know, you as a person, you you are the the same as them. And I think a lot of these people, you have to remember, are maybe venting their frustration, and it's a it's a reflection of themselves and what they go through on a on a daily life, and they kind of want to run away from their their own insecurities as in in themselves. So, you know, it's like we said, you you know that they're they're doing wrong and you know what's right and you know, don't let it get the better of you, don't let it weigh down on your shoulders and, and just trust in your support network, trust the people around you and if, if the people around you you believe aren't helping you then then reach out to a further network, you know, because there's there's so many people out there, like we said, that are going through the the same situations or have been through, have the experience to to deal with this, and you know, it's you just have to remember you're not alone in in this situation. There's always people there to help you. Yeah, I think elite sportsmen, you, you know, you have the you have the platform to to make a change and and for people to listen. And you know, I think it the higher you are, the more elite you are, the the bigger the name. Um, people listen to you a lot more and you know there's there's plenty of people that aren't as well known that have probably been through more situations than than the elite athletes but you know they just don't have the voice and the platform for for people to listen to them and you know it it does take a, a Raheem Sterling or a Marcus Rashford to say something for for people to really perk up and listen to what is going on and, and like I said even their voice is it is powerful but it's not as powerful as as a person that is not in the ethnic minority and you know even even the papers and, and whoever it might be they have to realize also that their voice is is powerful because they they kind of control the opinion of the masses and whatever they put out you know a lot of people in this in this society and in this world are, are sheep you know they they don't want to have an opinion for themselves they want someone else to have the opinion and they want to jump on that bandwagon and you know if you're the target that's ultimately what happens people people jump on that opinion from from these other people so you know there's there's a lot of people that need to to use their voice and their platform and and their in a sense their the hierarchy needs to to do a lot more to to change their perspective and the opinion of of, of people and, and make sure that these people aren't given the the platform to to use it in in the wrong way and you know we all have a duty as human beings to to make sure that this world is is united and everyone is doing their part to make a change and you know we, like we said we all have to stand up together we all have to to use our voice whether it's small whether it's powerful whether you have a big following or not because you know you never know who will pick up on that and you never know who needs that to hear your voice at that at that precise moment yeah i think within sports and and, and football, you know, the, there has to be a, a lot of diversity. You know, there's there's so many gifted people from all around the world coming from from different backgrounds, different cultures. So, you know, it's 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 great to to be around these different people because I I'm a, I'm a big believer in that you can learn from from all different people, from their different experiences, whether you've been through it or not. You know, you can always learn from other people's experiences, and you know, because you never know when these fa these challenges may face you and you know it's it's about respecting one another and respecting their their opinions and and where they've come from and why they are the way they are and you have to learn about that person you know because sometimes the the issues are a lot more deep rooted than we think um 
you know so everyone has their story to tell and it's about accepting one another as and you know the the diversity within sport is great because you're you're learning about different cultures and and it shows when when you had the young kids coming through wherever they may be that you know they can see a reflection of themselves within a within a person that's of that status that are that are making a name for themselves and and that gives them that belief that they can one day be in that situation also.